Hey guys, for the trading stock. In this video, we will discuss gold and silver. We will discuss very bearish outlook for WTI crude oil. We will take a look at dollar cat and discuss the bullish reversal on Peon Swiss. Also, I will share with you my trading plan for dollar yen pair. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And let's start. I want to start our analysis with the WTI crude oil. Daily time frame. And the fact is that WTI crude oil is rallying. And the market keeps breaking the key levels one after another. You can see that here on crude oil, we had a lot of historical resistances that the price successfully violated. And it turned out that this week, that important horizontal zone of supply was broken. You can see that the daily candle closed above that. And of course, it is a very strong bullish signal. Now the closest strong resistance that I see on oil is over here. You can see that here we have a major structure cluster and it feels like traders, the market will keep growing to that resistance. I will expect a bullish continuation. And so far that broken structure right here turned into a strong support from where I would recommend you looking for buying, expecting a bullish continuation to that strong resistance. Now about dollar yen pair. We are in a daily time frame and you can see that the pair is trading in a bullish trend. Once that high was reached from that high, the market started a correctional movement. And then the price perfectly respected that horizontal structure, the area that we spotted in one of the previous videos. And you can see how perfectly the market respected that area. Then analyzing the higher lows, we can also spot right here a major rising trend line. From that trend line, we see strong rejections and zooming in the chart and watching the price action off this week, we can spot that the market now formed right here, a double bottom, double bottom with the high value. And here we have a strong horizontal resistance that the market tested on Friday. I will expect the trend following movement on dollar yen pair after breakout of that resistance, the neckline of that double bottom. If the price breaks and closes above that resistance, I will expect a trend following movement at least to corn hoy. So if you're looking for the trend following opportunities, that will be your plan to buy dollar yen. Now, briefly about Peon Swiss. So the market was falling steadily on a daily and we saw a strong bearish wave. However, then the market reached a very important horizontal zone of demand from where the market was nicely rejected and then the market started to consolidate and treat within a very narrow range. Zooming in the chart, here we can spot a classic bullish pattern, the ascending triangle. And you can see that the price was setting the high values, respecting the same horizontal resistance. And it turned out that on Friday, we saw a quite strong bullish movement. And you can see that with this bullish candle, the market successfully violated the neckline of the pattern. So to me, the pair looks bullish now and I think that we will see the bullish continuation. The next goal for the buyers for now will be that resistance cluster. So next week you can look for buying opportunities on a retest of a broken neckline of a triangle expecting a bullish movement to that resistance area. Now to this about silver. So important thing happened on silver this week. First of all, analyzing the price action, we can spot that the market was very bullish. We reached that high and from that high, we saw the retracement. Then the market started to grow again. And you can see that here, instead of even retesting the current high, the market set the lower high instead. And of course, it is a very important bearish clue. And then we draw up on Thursday and you can see that the price formed a high momentum bearish candle right here. Analyzing the key levels, we can spot that the market successfully violated that horizontal structure. You can see that here we got a very important horizontal zone of demand that was broken, that was violated and taken into consideration traders that here we also have now a very important trend line. To me, it looks like we most likely gonna see the bearish movement, the correctional movement on silver. So for now, the goal for these sellers will be that rising trend line. That is the closest vertical support 
for Neo. And I think that the broken structure here in Neo turned into resistance from where you can look for shorting. Alternatively, remember that we can have kind of the deeper retracement and the market may return to the trend line. And from that, we might see a bearish movement. That can be the alternative, kind of the safer scenario for you. Gold looks very bearish to me as well. And I want to remind you that earlier we spotted on a daily time frame that horizontal resistance. And two times in a row that resistance was respected and from that resistance we saw two strong bearish moves. Analyzing the price action we can spot that here the price formed a double top pattern. And you can see that forming that high momentum bearish candle on Thursday the price successfully violated its sneak line to the downside and closed below that. Then what we can spot is the trend line. We can spot that here the price started to respect that trend line. And you can see traders that the market closed above that broken neckline on Friday. So it feels like it feels like you should look for shorting from that trend line. So far, it is the closest strong resistance, and the selling volumes will accumulate within the area based on the broken neckline and that trend line. And higher the market goes, more and more and more selling orders will become activated. So from there, from the trend line, I would recommend looking for shorting, expecting a bearish continuation at least to that support. Also, those who want to buy, Remember that for now the resort for the sellers is that horizontal resistance. I will be bullish on gold only after a breakout of that area. Only then bullish continuation will be expected. I also spotted a confirmed bullish reversal on a dollar cat pair. On a daily time frame, again, here we have a very classic bullish reversal pattern, the ascending triangle. And you can see that the price was stuck within the triangle for quite long period of time. And even though we are trading in a bearish trend, the formation of that pattern signifies that the market is currently very oversold and it is the time for the correction. You can see that on Friday, after one more test of the neckline of the triangle, we have violated that. The neckline of the triangle was broken. Now it turned into very strong support from where you can expect bullish continuation next weekend. I will expect bullish movement at least to that resistance. That will be the closest strong historical structure to watch. So the bias on dollar cat is now very bullish. Checking the economic calendar, the main focus next week will be, of course, the non-farm payrolls report on Friday. So we will expect the higher than usual volatility around the release of this news. And traders, this time I decided to make this video in a quicker format. So let me know in the comment section how do you want me to record this video series? Do you want me to share with you the in-depth multiple time frame analysis of few instruments? Or do you want me to cover more instruments but share the brief outlook? Let me know in the comment section. Traders, if you want to learn how to trade, do not forget to check my premium group. The link in the description below. Also, traders, please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I will see you soon.